Today, President-elect Donald Trump is expected to get an intelligence briefing regarding the Russian hacking during the presidential election. The briefing will take place at Trump Tower, and Mr. Trump has cast doubt on the conclusion that U.S. intelligence agencies have made that Russia hacked Democratic Party computers. CBS4's Hannah Daniels has the latest from New York. In just a few hours, the nation's top intelligence chiefs will make their case to President-elect Donald Trump that Russia undoubtedly meddled in the election. Among them, the director of national intelligence, James Clapper, who testified on Capitol Hill yesterday. The hacking uh, was only one part of it, uh, and it also entailed um, you know, classical propaganda, uh, disinformation, fake news. CBS News has learned the moves were intended to hurt Hillary Clinton's candidacy and that U.S. investigators have intercepts of Russian officials expressing pleasure after Trump won. While Clapper insists Russia did not change the vote tallies, he blasted Mr. Trump for casting doubt on the intel. I think there's a difference between um, skepticism and uh, disparagement. Trump questioned the findings again yesterday, writing in one Twitter post, so how and why are they so sure about hacking if they never even requested an examination of the computer servers? CIA Director John Brennan, who will also brief Trump today, says he's hopeful his attitude will change. Let's see what happens uh, post-inauguration day. A day after signaling he'd leave the job vacant, Mr. Trump now plans to nominate former Indiana Senator Dan Coats as his director of national intelligence. The establishment Republican has been a tough critic of Russian President Vladimir Putin in the past. Hannah Daniels, CBS News.